On Memorial Day, we pay tribute to military members who lost their lives by putting American flags on their graves. In December, there's a different tribute to those who have served and paid the ultimate sacrifice. Our Parker Brown tells us more. It's a national tradition of honor, respect, and closure. Today at the South Dakota Veterans Cemetery, many gathered to lay wreaths at the headstone of our fallen heroes. Wreaths across America began in 1992 with a donation of 5,000 wreaths to the Arlington National Cemetery. It caught on and it allows families to remember their loved ones during the holidays. To take a moment out of the hustle and bustle of the holiday season to come and pay our respects to our veterans specifically that are interred here in the South Dakota Vets Cemetery, as well as over 4,000 locations nationwide. It definitely brings some healing and some closure to those families that are missing their loved one during these holiday seasons. The day is also meaningful to living veterans like Randy Ward, who served in the Army during Vietnam as a medic. He now serves by honoring others with the Patriot Guard Riders, aiming to welcome home service members and attend memorial services. Upon arriving home in my small town, the first two people to welcome me home was uh, two of my heroes, which was World War II veterans. That was so important to me. I've always felt a lot of gratitude to them, making my homecoming much better than a lot of the other Vietnam veterans. To veterans at the ceremony, it was about showing respect and dignity to those who gave everything for their country. This is an event for us, but normally they're missions that we do. Their name is said at the time of the playing of the wreath, and it's something that it personally honors them. Next year's ceremony will be right here on December 14th at 11 a.m. once again to coordinate with the Arlington National Cemetery ceremony at noon in Washington, D.C. In Sioux Falls, Parker Brown, Dakota News Now.